And let's round up for you all the updates you also need to know on the Omicron scare here in India. The number of cases, unfortunately, with every passing day is going up. Right now, it stands at 61. And let's break down for you the state-wise tally. At this point, Maharashtra has the most number of cases. Eight more patients were found to be infected with Omicron in Maharashtra. Out of these seven are from Mumbai. One patient is from Vasai Virar. Three of the patients are asymptomatic. Five reportedly have mild symptoms. A total of 28 patients till date have been infected with the Omicron in Maharashtra. Uh, out of these, nine have completed a full recovery. They've been discharged after negative RT-PCR tests. As far as Delhi is concerned, there have been four more cases of the super mutant variant that have been confirmed, which means in all, there are six cases of Omicron in the national capital. Again, one person here has fully recovered, has been discharged. Meanwhile, the COVID task force chief, Niti Aayog member VK Paul is called for modifying vaccines every year while raising an alarm that vaccines may become ineffective. He also said that India should have vaccine platforms that are adaptable quickly with changing scenarios, particularly keeping in mind the fact that you have so many COVID variants coming to light. The best bet today, which the nation's policy dictates and policy policy amplifies, is that the two doses of the available, excellent, highly effective vaccines, as we have seen up to now, must reach every adult. And that remains our prime philosophy. We should have no confusion on this. 